Hey guys, I'm Angie Campbell and I'm a Learn and Serve 2 student. Our first month of school is now over and I just wanted to let you guys know what we've been doing in Learn and Serve this year. Um, this year, Learn and Serve 1 and 2 are combined, so um, this first month has been kind of like a recap for us Learn and Serve 2 students, but I think it's great. I think it's great for us to refresh on all the things that we didn't know and maybe the things that we already know, you know? Our first big project that we had to do was a video or a skit that explained what Learn and Serve was, and we got to differentiate the difference between service learning and all those different kinds of community service. Like, well, of course, community service is one, volunteering, and things of that sort. So it was great to um, just recollect the things that we already knew. I think it was great. Everybody got a chance to look into it and research it and have fun with it. I know me and my friend Mackenzie had a great time just going back, making a skit, and just having fun with our um, with our skit, you know? <laughs> Another thing that we really, um, we really focus on within these first four weeks is getting to know ourselves as a person. We had this worksheet right here which some of you may or may not notice it is a star well a few stars that basically is how we describe ourselves the, in the middle star I had Evangeline which is my name everybody put their name in the middle star and then around them there are five stars centering it and we put things that describe this so I put multicultural mutt um, person of faith, woman, student, things of that sort. Some people put other things. Um, I know for me, uh, my most important star was multi multicultural mutt because I think it's really what identifies me. And it was great to just point these things out because it is important that we know what aspect of our life is really important to us and how we can use that to affect our community through our service learning projects. So I thought that was pretty cool. What we also got to do is we got to learn new words that we didn't necessarily know. For example, um, ableism or ageism or classism, heterosexualism. And we got to see how they were prejudiced against other people and just really get to know these terms that maybe we just don't know. I know for me, I knew like racism, I knew classism, things like that I kind of knew, but the one that a lot of people just focus on is racism, but there's so much more that needs to be focused on. I thought that was great that we really got to define those terms and draw a line for those terms so that we know what these terms are and how that we can offend, how we can offend people, you know, I thought that was a great thing that we did within the four weeks. Another thing we did, um, Miss Janae gave us a story about a man who steals um, medicine from a man because it's too expensive to save his dying wife. And each of us got to decide if it was morally right or wrong. I personally thought it was morally wrong. I mean, I understood what he did, but I thought it was morally wrong. And believe me, a lot of people <laughs> disagreed with me. But after we each voiced our opinion, we got a worksheet that showed where we are in moral develop development, like the stage we are at. Some people are lower than others. I personally am pretty much up there. <laughs> but, you know, I think I thought it was a great thing to see, like how people how people have different opinions on things and how different people um, different background and the way they were raised influenced their decision, you know? So I thought that was great. Also, I like how Miss Janae is trying to get us out of our comfort zone a little bit um, and open up a bit. Uh, we have, we had a worksheet. This is the worksheet. I don't know if you guys can quite see it, but it basically is trying to open, have you open up and see what affects you emotionally and what makes you tick and things like that. Um, nobody really had anything and very, you know, too, too emotional, but hopefully later on in the year we can get all get comfortable with each other and be able to open up and 
have these kind of reactions. But my example was um, the March on Washington, the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington. I attended that with one of my friends, and I felt empowered after that. And what empowered me was feeling what the struggle was like. And even now, like, it's just the 50th cent, it's just 50 years after, and it's so much better than it used to be. So my struggle is not as strong as their struggle. And then it was great to hear all the different speakers and how, hear this president speak and compare the struggles now to the struggles then and really just connect those so everybody could relate to them. But what I want to do now is I want to um, tell you tell you guys a little bit about how other people's experience was about because it's not just me. I'm a one and serve two student so I know every well, I knew everything that we um, have been going through, but I wanted to talk to the Learn and Serve one student and really get their perspective on the class and see what they're thinking. Okay, so we're talking to Janara, a first year Learn and Serve student. Janara, how do you feel about Learn and Serve so far? Uh, I really like it. I'm going to really enjoy it. I like that we get to help out more into, in the community and I can't wait. And I hope that this year is good. <laughs> So there you go. You've seen it and you've heard it for yourself. Not just Learn and Serve 2, but Learn and Serve 1 students are really excited for this year and are very proud of what has happened in these first four weeks. I can't wait to get started in our fifth week, our sixth, seventh, eighth, and so on. I can't wait to start our projects. I think it's going to be a really great year. All right, until next time. See ya.